Time is now 6.53, and let's take a look at the top stories we are following as you head out the door. Happening now, the 41st president, George H.W. Bush, is lying in state in Washington, D.C. at the Capitol. Here is a live look where you can see people paying their respect. President Bush will lie in the nation's capital until 9 a.m. tomorrow when his body will be moved for his funeral. New information, a meeting to discuss ways to avert a government shutdown has been postponed. President Trump was expected to speak with leaders tomorrow, but it was canceled due to Bush 41's funeral. However, the president signed a two-week funding delay that was requested by congressional leaders. And on Wednesday, starting at 9 a.m., ABC will cover the departure of the president's casket from the Capitol as it's moved to the Washington National Cathedral. You can catch live coverage of the funeral right here on Way 31, starting at 9. Stephen. A $15.7 million road project here on Church Street has begun. Now, this project is going to revamp the flow of traffic on Church Street near Pratt Avenue. Two new bridges will be made that will connect Church Street to Hundley Drive, but utility poles over and underground must be moved first. Naja? All right, thank you, Stephen. This morning, the Madison County Sheriff's Office is working to find out if a body found is connected to a confessed serial killer. Samuel Little admitted to murdering 90 women, including a woman from Decatur, but now he may be connected to a Madison County body. No one has ever been able to figure out who she is or how she ended up here. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says there is an email scam that looks like it's from the license director or sheriff, and it claims that you owe money. If you do get an email, make sure you do not click on the link because it could give criminals direct access to your computer. Happening today, CIA Director Gina Haspel is expected to brief a small group of lawmakers on the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The CIA believes Saudi Arabia's crown prince personally ordered the killing. Happening today, Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle will deliver his annual State of the City address at the Von Brown Center. Mayor Battle will discuss the city's economic future and his strategic plan to recruit a highly skilled millennial workforce. Happening today, Huntsville's annual Christmas parade will take place tonight. The parade will start near Lot K at the intersection of Woodson Street and Clinton Avenue and will end at Huntsville Middle School. The annual parade will start at 6 p.m. and is expected to last three hours. How's traffic looking, Kate? Just fine. Not even a major slowdown to report to you this morning. So smooth sailing across those Tennessee Valley roadways. And this evening, I know that we will have some delays downtown because of that Christmas parade. 39 degrees at 6 o'clock by 9. We're at 37. Tomorrow morning, temperatures drop into the upper 20s. So it is going to be a cold start for tomorrow. Then back into the mid-40s. Rain holds off until the weekend, but it is going to be a cold rain and kind of a washout of the weekend. People will definitely want to bundle up for that parade tonight. Oh, yes, they will.